Now, all your local news and weather for Ayrshire, plus your main Scottish news stories. Good afternoon. Now your STV news, including the headlines for air. Education has dominated First Minister's questions at Holyrood. Conservative leader Ruth Davidson said there are children that can't add up, write or read in Scotland. First Minister Nicola Sturgeon said they'd continue to take forward a programme of reform. The number of people suffering strokes across the UK is likely to rise by almost half in the next 20 years. The Stroke Alliance for, for Europe and the Stroke Association says it's down to our ageing population. The charities are calling for the introduction of a national strategy to tackle the problem. The mother of a missing Fife airman says she's falling apart as police continue to search a landfill site for his body. Corey McKeague hasn't been seen since, since September. It had been hoped his remains would be dis discovered at a rubbish tip in Cambridge. But after weeks of searching, his mum Nicola says it's looking increasingly unlikely he'll be found. Poor people are more likely to die or fall ill due to excessive alcohol consumption. University of Glasgow research found people who lived in deprived areas have a greater risk of death. Researchers say it's not because they drink more than others, but because poverty may reduce resilience to illness. Aberdeen's Liberal Democrats say they will not enter any coalition to run the city council. It follows last week's council elections when no one party was able to gain a majority. The Lib Dems say they'll consider every issue before the council on its merits. Talks are continuing to form an administration. Support is growing for a permanent memorial to remember those who died in one of Scotland's worst rail disasters. 22 people lost their lives when two trains crashed during a blizzard at Elliot in Arbroath in 1906. Relatives of those who died are among those calling for a memorial. And now the main headlines in air. SNP, Labour and Independent councillors in South Ayrshire say they've agreed a deal which would allow them to take control of the council. The Conservatives had been in charge with a minority administration since 2012, but having failed to win a majority, they look unlikely to hang on to power. And Arran's become the first community in Scotland to launch a gift card that can be used across the island. The pre-loaded visa card will be accepted in shops, hotels, visitor attractions and activity centres. And that's all for now. We'll be back again in an hour. But in the meantime, here's your local weather forecast. STV Weather. Sponsored by Thompson. TV weather. Sponsored by Thompson. <laughs> 